message to Ron Carter coming in to become a trial Hey, Jim, it's a good look. Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't a longer, detailed message. It's just, you've got to come in, get in and work, get to know the guys in the locker room. Okay. We're not going to put any timetable on oh. when you're going to play, and if you're going to play, just uh, just enjoy the process of uh, you know doing what we do with every player who comes in to get them acclimated and get them in, get them into assembling the offense. It's, it's pretty short and sweet. Uh, Mark, did you notice the buy-in in terms of this team and its culture? And it, this is this is a room that doesn't elevate anyone above anybody else. It's just everybody has to demand a certain level of it. Everybody else. Is um, I have to remain, that remains to be seen. The thing I feel the buy is we've got a bunch of uh, veteran leaders on our football team who are unanimous and want to have the opportunity that they do with each and every player who comes in is to, is to bring them along, uh, show them our leadership, so show them what it's like to be a teammate. And, uh, you know, I don't know what's going to I don't have any idea what's going to happen. I know that we've got guys who are committed uh, to uh, bring them along just like they are each and every player that comes along. What do you know about him, Mark? Well, I, I know his background. I know where he's been and, and what he's done. And, and uh, I've had a, conversa a couple of conversations with him. And um, you know, not enough to even even respond any more than that. You know, he's like any other player, basically, that I've had a chance to talk to. And, you know, we, it's remains to be seen. Will he come in and work? Will he get acclimated in a way that uh, our team is comfortable with? And um, you know, we, we got uh, we got high expectations, and our, and our guys are excited about the, the opportunity to teach and to, and to grow other guys just like they are with every other guy on our team. How, how important is it to have a couple of veterans on your team, not only for leaders in this team, but guys who have a history with him and then know him well? But, I, you know, the answer would be it certainly helps. What sort of potential does he bring? Um, I don't know that yet. Um, I'm not interested in that right now. Um, I'm not the talent that I'm the coach. And so uh, you know, my job is to get in, in the locker room, assimilate our, our, our locker room and with the guys in the locker room and, uh, and, and, and begin to teach him you know, on the, our, the offensive side of our game. So that's really it. What, what do you need to see from him to put him on the field? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know yet. I, I think that um, what I said is what I need to, I need to give him an opportunity to, uh, to be, be around for a while. And, uh, and, and make those determinations. But like any other player, to be able to come in here and number one, number one really in, in, in our quality of life is, does he really love football? Does he really want to work? And uh, those are two prerequisites to, to get on the field, uh, and notwithstanding a lot of other things. And, uh, and then we'll be able to have the opportunity to see that uh, over the next month and see, see how he works and see, see what he does without putting any time to it at all sense that we have to get him in there because that will not be the case or we don't have any any sense of urgency uh, in any way that he has to play today or tomorrow or next week. You know, we're not working on that. We're working on a timetable like we do with every other player and that's to make sure that they they're, that they're that the locker room is comfortable, he's comfortable in the locker room, it's a two-way street and that he's uh, that he can efficiently line up and play. When you have a player with a history like Duran, into the decision-making process to bring, bring something like that in? Yeah, I think you have to ask Jim. I think Jim went through the initial process of, of, of making that decision. He knows him a lot better than, than I have, than I do. And uh, I've spent an hour with him, basically, overall, and had a, you know, a two-way, but really nice conversation with him, um, like I do with most of the players who come in here before we, we finalize whether we're going to bring him in. And uh, it was enough to, to say that uh, we, we should give him the opportunity, and I did the decision alone. I made it with a number of guys in our locker room uh, that I that I trust that could give me the best interest of our team. But I imagine Coach Paul told me to you make the decision fits when he plays and where he fits. Well, I think that uh, can be spun any different way. I mean, you know, I, I think that it can be, that can be said because that's the nature of my role, right? As as the guy who has 51 percent of the votes, so to speak, right? <laughs> Um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, we, we do things very inclusively here. We do things with our coaches. We do things with our players. Um, you know, there's a lot of pride in our locker room with the guys that we have, and, uh, and our expectations are high. You know, and, and uh, we, we got a long way to go, and we want to get better as a team. And we all also want to better the guys in our locker room. So we're just going to see how it goes with uh, you know, no sense of urgency to, to, to put.
put any stipulations on. Is there any chance he plays on Labor Day? There's no chance he'll be playing in either game. Uh, Ricky is just he's in the meetings and he's you know with us and, and really that's the only commentary I have on that. I don't know anything more than that. It's really going to be week to week, month to month, whatever that might be. Uh, he's he's really week to week still. I mean I think he's a ways off. We'll we'll, we'll see how he moves this week. Mark, you guys were ravaged by injuries on Friday night. Can you? Uh... It's a good question. Um, Cassius Vaughn? If you name names, I can help yeah, Cassius you. I, I think Vaughn. Cassius has a season-ending injury. Anthony Coombs? Uh, Anthony Coombs is, is questionable. I think it'll be uh, a, at least week to week. He certainly won't be playing in the next couple of games. Declan Cross? Declan Cross, I, I believe, will be okay. We'll Eric see more. Stryker? Uh, Stryker, I'm not sure about. Robertson? I'm not sure about you. Okay. I'll, I'll know more in the next couple of days. There's still some MRIs and some things that have to take place. Mark, did you have any history with Chris Carter? And if so, did that play a role in signing Garoppolo? Um, I do have a history with him. Uh, I was uh, coach of the quarterbacks in Minnesota when, when Chris came from, from uh, Philadelphia. So I saw him in his, his very early stages. Certainly not uh, the man he is today or the man he became. Uh, but I had a chance to get to know him well enough and, and spent time communicating with him over the years. But when it came to this decision, uh, Chris, Chris and I did not speak about him. Mark, is Duran uh, sort of like a, a boundary whiteout? Is that where you want him to? We'll see. We'll I mean, see? I yeah. mean, that's where you know you, you, we all think of him, and uh, but that, that's a long way off right now. You know, he's have, he's going to have to come in. He's going to have to learn, you know, our system, and uh, and I don't expect that to be his most difficult task. Frankly, I think he's a smart young man who understands football, and I don't think that will be his most difficult task. I think it'll be just the day to day of. Uh, his evolution in our locker room. And I'm really excited about it. And the guys in our locker room are excited about the opportunity as well. He said that you presented that this was going to be a tough challenge for him, like to make no mistakes. Yeah, I, I think it is based on his history. You know, I was very clear to him. He, he hasn't made it in any situation that he's been in. We went through everything, and, um, and I was very honest with him. You know, what makes him think that he can he can make it here? And uh, I didn't ask him to answer the question. But I did ask him the question that uh, why should this be any different? Um, we've got a lot of people in here who are going to give him every chance like they do every other guy. There will be no special treatment. I, mean, I know how our guys respond to every new guy in our locker room. It will be no different for Duran. It will be no different from our coaches. Uh, we treat everybody in the highest regard, and we're going to do that with Duran just like we did with Will Likely, who came in last week, and Rod Smith, who came in earlier in the year. And, and uh, whoever that might have, might have been, Stryker who came in, uh, it, it, it has been, it, it's not changing. And, uh, and Duran knows that. He's a, he's, a, he's a smart young man. He knows that. And, uh, he's well equipped to handle that. What did you? The first, the first word you used to describe what it was going to be is hard. This was going to be hard. Yeah, I, I think that it's going to be hard for him because I don't know that he's ever been in this environment, and that's no disrespect to other environments. We don't disrespect any, anybody else's environments. But um, you know, there's a lifestyle in our locker room that, that we're working very hard to maintain. And we have a new team too, so we're still working on trying to create that right now with the, with the new people. Yeah, we've turned over 50%. So um, this is an evolving transformational process for every coach and every player anytime a new player walks in the room. Uh, it, it's going to be that way with Duran, just like it is with anybody else. And the thing we have in our locker room is a bunch of guys who get excited when new guys come in because they, they want to help them along. And I think that's um, not necessarily unique, but, but something I'm proud of with the, with the, particularly with the veterans we have in our locker room. Thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark.